Tonga's underwater volcano, Hunga Tonga Hunga Haapai, recently erupted in a way that caught everyone off guard. This volcano is part of the Kermadec Tonga Ridge in the South Pacific, formed by the meeting of the Pacific and Indo-Australian plates. Unlike the classic image of erupting volcanoes with visible peaks and dramatic explosions, this one is mostly submerged. The eruption that began on December 20, 2021, was so massive that it broke records, reaching a volcanic explosivity index of six, comparable to historic events like the Krakatoa eruption in the 19th century. The eruption led to a significant expansion of the island above water, but it didn't stop there. After a brief dormancy, the volcano erupted again on January 14, 2022, with an even more intense explosion, sending an ash cloud up to 36 miles high. The impact of this eruption was felt across enormous distances, with shock waves reaching as far as the United Kingdom. A study conducted by marine geoscientists from the University of Miami revealed that the eruption's magnitude was comparable to the force of a hydrogen bomb. The study, based on satellite data, field observations, and drone mapping, also highlighted the creation of massive tsunami waves, reaching up to 148 feet in height on Tonga's Tafua Island. Beyond documenting the extent of the devastation, the study delved into the mechanisms behind the tsunami, emphasizing the potential for even greater catastrophe in the future. The volcano released an unprecedented volume of water vapor into the atmosphere, equivalent to 58,000 swimming pools. This infusion of water vapor could have implications for the planet's climate, possibly leading to temporary warming in the coming years. The recent volcanic eruption in Tonga has made things even worse, especially with the ongoing extreme climate change. The eruption set a new record for the highest volcano plume, shooting ash 36 miles into the atmosphere. What's crazier is that it created atmospheric waves traveling at an incredible speed of 720 miles per hour around the globe. Researchers on the ground witnessed the destruction caused by the eruption, with downed trees and vegetation along the coast. The eruptions on January 15th ranged from minor to catastrophic, with the fifth blast being as powerful as significant nuclear tests. The displaced seawater led to a massive local tsunami, with waves reaching incredible heights. A simulation showed that just one minute after the blast, the displaced wave measured an astonishing 85 meters in height. Observations also revealed that shallower waters along the shore played a crucial role in reducing the power of the tsunami waves. Waves from different blasts converged, extending the risk posed by the tsunami. The most powerful blast occurred when seawater infiltrated the hot magma, resulting in a steam-generated eruption. The study didn't focus on the specifics of the eruption's initiation, but some researchers hypothesize a phenomenon called the magma hammer, suggesting repeated magma rise and fall triggered the eruption. The seismic record also showed a distinct pressure drop during the largest eruption, a rare occurrence in volcanic events. The eruption started in December, and its initial triggers are still uncertain. Dan Slayback, a co-author of the study, expressed how surprising it is for such a massive event to occur with almost no warning. While smaller eruptions did happen before January 15th, scientists were able to use them to anticipate what might happen next. However, the power of the volcano still surprised everyone. Slayback even described it as a once-in-500-year event for the region, if not the whole world. The study acknowledged that the death toll could have been much worse, but the relatively quick response from the local community and the low number of tourists, partly due to the ongoing pandemic, helped prevent more severe consequences. Additionally, the eruption occurred during daylight hours, which also minimized casualties. Tonga's main city was geographically protected behind an island in a lagoon, acting as a natural barrier against the incoming tsunami. The detailed analysis of the 2022 eruptions provided by the study offers more insights into volcanic-induced tsunamis. This knowledge can contribute to early warning systems and community preparedness, extending beyond the immediate impact zone. Sam Perkis highlighted the significance of the event, noting that while it had serious consequences, it might not be remembered in history in the same way as the famous Krakatoa eruption. 
The eruption of Krakatoa in 1883 was one of the most catastrophic volcanic events in recorded history. Krakatoa is a strata volcano, characterized by its composite structure built up over time through repeated eruptions of lava, ash, and volcanic materials. The layers of lava flows, ash deposits, and other debris create the distinctive steep slopes of strata volcanoes. Before the 1883 eruption, Krakatoa showed signs of reawakening after centuries of dormancy. Smaller eruptions and increased seismic activity indicated that the volcano was becoming more active. Seismic waves, generated by the movement of magma within the Earth's crust, provided crucial information about the volcano's behavior. The catastrophic eruption had far-reaching effects on the local region and even impacted global climate and atmospheric conditions. In the years leading up to 1883, there were smaller eruptions and seismic events, indicating a gradual increase in volcanic activity. This is a common pattern in a volcano's life cycle, as magma rises and builds up near the surface, creating pressure over time. Scientists and observers in the region would have noticed the rising volcanic activity, characterized by the release of ash, steam, and minor lava flows. These signs indicated that a significant eruption was on the horizon. The pressure and magma buildup within Krakatoa's volcanic system reached a critical point in August 1883. The explosive eruption that followed between May 20th, 1883, and around October 21st, 1883, was classified as a Plinian eruption, known for its extreme explosiveness. It generated a towering volcanic column and released vast amounts of ash and gases into the atmosphere. The eruption was given a volcanic explosivity index rating of 6, making it one of the most powerful in recorded history. The eruption released about 20 million tons of sulfur dioxide into the atmosphere. This led to the formation of sulfuric acid aerosols in the stratosphere, impacting global climate patterns. The aerosols reflected sunlight away from the Earth's surface, causing a temporary drop in global temperatures by about 2.2 degrees Fahrenheit over five years. The eruption had devastating consequences for human populations in the region resulting in deaths from thermal injuries caused by the blasts and tsunamis triggered by the collapsing volcanic island. The estimated death toll from the Krakatoa eruption ranges from 36,417 to 120,000 people. The catastrophic aftermath of the eruption sparked renewed interest in the study of volcanology. Following the obliteration of the volcanic island in the Sunda Strait, a new underwater landscape emerged. Over the years, new volcanic activity led to the formation of a new island within the caldera, appropriately named Anak Krakatau, meaning the child of Krakatoa. Krakatau symbolizes the rebirth of volcanic activity in the region after the huge 1883 eruption. This new island emerged due to the accumulation of volcanic materials over time. Unlike typical temporary islands formed by eruptions, Anak Krakatau continues to be an active volcano today. Its ongoing volcanic activity, such as lava flows and ash plumes, is a result of the Earth's constant movement and tectonic forces. Despite its active nature, Anak Krakatau hasn't reached the extreme level of the 1883 Krakatoa eruption, allowing local communities to thrive alongside the volcano. However, the volcanic activity at Hunga Tonga Hunga Ha'apai in 2021-2022 wasn't a one-time occurrence. While the eruption surprised many, the volcano had shown signs of activity in the past. In 2014 to 2015, a submarine eruption in the same area created a new island. This event showcased the unpredictable nature of the volcano. Shield volcanoes, like those found in the Hawaiian Islands, are known for their gentle slopes and fluid lava. Examples include Mauna Loa and Kilauea, the 2018 eruption of Kilauea was a significant and unexpected event, causing destruction in the Lower Puna district. It was characterized by fissures opening in the ground, leading to the destruction of homes and the reshaping of landscapes. The eruption had a profound impact on communities, displacing residents and changing lives permanently. The recent Hunga Tonga Hunga Ha'apai eruptions were powerful, leaving the area vulnerable to another massive eruption. If it occurs, 
it could have catastrophic consequences similar to historical events, leading to famines, diseases, and widespread destruction. The challenge now is to prepare and mitigate the potential impact of such eruptions. That's all for today. We hope you enjoyed watching this video. Like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this.